What's the deal with airplane peanuts? I feel like because I'm a comedian, if you don't understand my tone, if people are listening and they don't get that we're joking, like me and Bobby make a lot of jokes on the show, we're comedians. It's my job is to make jokes. If you think that what I'm saying might be serious, that's on you, 100% on you. That's kind of my, that's my perspective on comedy as a whole is like, uh, also watch uh, my special on Netflix, January 10th. There it is, there yes. it is. We oh. told you, I told you to promote your shit. He okay. named his special after something he never eats. Cheeseburger. It's so funny in your special, the story about the dog with the, uh, the girl with Down syndrome. I love my dog and she's incredible. She's also a little bit of a pervert, I'm not gonna lie. Go check out Santino's special. Go see my new special. It's called Cheeseburger. It's on Netflix. Why is it called Cheeseburger? Watch the fucking special. There we go. You got to watch it to find out. Last week, Andrew Santino made his Netflix debut with the release of a brand new hour of stand-up comedy titled Cheeseburger. This special has been the talk of the comedy world for days now, and it seems like everyone, from other comedians to professional athletes, has something to say about Andrew Santino Cheeseburger. Say cheeseburger! So I asked 173,000 diehard comedy fans for their thoughts on the new special. The top comment was from Michael Cock. Nice last name. He said, I've seen him twice live, and he's one of the best comics I've seen. I don't think it fully translated to a special, but still better than 90% of the shit Netflix pushes. There was also handful of comments on here complaining about the crowd or people that thought the crowd at the taping kind of sucked. Nicholas said Santino was great, but you could tell the crowd was less than awesome. Saw it and it was good. The audiences are changing with the times and it's evident. And Chase said, I enjoyed the performance and loved how he turned claps into laughs. Solid for sure. With specials and tapings, you have to hit them. You have to just keep, you keep hitting them. And it's hard too, because with tapings, the weird thing is the audience is cognizant of being filmed. They yeah. know they're being filmed. Right. It looks different than a regular show. The lights are fucking brighter. Their seating is different. You know what I mean? Like we have to seat them around cameras and it's all a part of that world that changes how an audience feels. I, I don't think it really shifts the, um, you know, the, the, like the, the laughter or the applause. I don't think they're hamming it up or anything, but you, I do always remember they're like they know they're being filmed right there's a sign out front that's like yo mm -hmm. your likeness may be used on this special on netflix you're saying yes by sitting in this seat that you might be on camera yeah Do i try as hard as i can to not show anybody you know most of my fans are very very unattractive so i just know <laughs> i mean preaching to the <laughs> choir bro <laughs> also the clip that this is from pardon my take i'm not sure how many of you are familiar with that podcast but later on in this interview big cat goes on to say this i wish you know how the nba has like um Ever, like the the off season is almost like better sometimes than the season because of like the drama and everything. Oh yeah, I wish we had someone who was reporting on the comedy scene. Would there be just? Oh, that's interesting. Because like, I know that there's clicks that I don't understand and people who don't like other people. If you're familiar with this channel at all, you probably laughed during that clip because that's literally exactly what we do here. So please, to all the PMT fans out there, let Big Cat know about Joke World that we already exist. Maybe he'll even subscribe. Maybe he'll even DM the Instagram for a free sticker. Right off the bat, Cheeseburger is one of the most eye-catching or ear-catching names that I've heard for a comedy special in a while. It's confusing at first why it's called Cheeseburger, but the meaning reveals itself about halfway through the show. Regardless of the meaning though, some people hate the name Cheeseburger and some people loved it. This guy said, it was a very tasty cheeseburger that had 37 likes. Nicholas said, ha ha ha, Cheeseburger, oh my gosh, Santino, you silly little dog. How does he come up with this stuff? I'm assuming that was sarcastic, so that's why I read it like that. But Trash Can Chris liked the name. He said, great special, we're all just cheeseburgers. So what I'm saying is, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm promoting Promoting my special it comes out January 10th yes. on Netflix. My sister's birthday. Netflix. That's why I did it. Netflix, watch my special on Netflix January 10th. And then me so and So you Bobby have to have something in you to get a Netflix special. You can't just be white. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's. You have it's some also type a guinea of. Cock. No, it's oh, guinea, yeah, guinea cock. cock. Yeah, I showed him my guinea cock. Is mm -hmm. that the name of the special? I Should wish. Be. Is it guinea Retrospect, cock? Retrospect, man, I wish. Uh, what is it? God. The name of the special is called Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. I swear to God, people will see it, they'll understand why. Uh, I don't want to give away why. There's a it's a there's a thing in the middle that tells you exactly so why. Is it because when I got the cheeseburger, you put me in the special? Uh, yep. Oh. Is that why you were videotaping? It's just me? footage of you yeah. eating <laughs> a cheeseburger in my car <laughs> for an hour. Now, of course, whenever a comedian comes out with a new special nowadays, people naturally compare it to the humor level of their podcast, especially guys like Theo Vaughn, Tim Dillon, or Andrew Santino, who we're all used to seeing once or twice a week performing very high-level comedy on their own shows. This guy said, although I've been watching the pods, this was my first real time seeing his stand-up, and I was blown away. Genius. Another commenter said, I'm sure a lot of people share the same thoughts as me, but I can't get into a stand-up, but podcast-wise, I think he's funny. Could be that he's better on his feet like Theo Vaughn. Another person said, I'm a huge fan of him as a 
podcaster, probably more than his stand-up, to be honest. But the special was very solid, in my opinion, much better than his other one that's on Amazon Prime, I think. I saw him live last year in San Francisco, and it was great. I watched your, your last stand-up. I don't know if it was the last special I did, but it was on, uh, I saw it on Amazon the other day. Oh, really? Um, I didn't know yeah. it was on Amazon. You had the uh, the one with the teddy bear in the back, or the bear in the background. Chicago bear in the, the background. Chicago yeah, bear yeah, in the yeah, background, yeah. yeah. Um, that was very funny. You should Thank go you, check man. it out. What's the name of that one again? That was called Home Field Advantage. That was in Chicago. At the Vic, right? Yeah. Shot at the Vic. That was many moons ago. I would say watch this one first. Yes. Okay. Watch yes. Cheeseburger. That was years ago. I, I, it was fun. You know, it was on Showtime. I did a deal with Showtime because I had a TV show with them. And then, you know, it was they were quick to pull the trigger. I didn't. They were like, we have to shoot a special like very fast. And I had a good time. It wasn't It wasn't my favorite. This thing that I put out now uh, is one of my favorite things. As you can probably tell, most of the reviews on this special are very positive, but there's still a few fans that didn't enjoy some of the topics or premises in Cheeseburger, specifically jokes that had more divisive subjects like COVID or politics. Garrett said, couldn't get past the COVID shit. COVID isn't funny to me. Justin said, I think he's funnier reacting in the moment than what he is on this special. And to be clear, he's one of my favorite hosts and guests on pods. Just didn't feel natural to force bits on COVID, Trump, Biden, prostate exams, etc. We all know prostate exam is a very divisive topic. And Chris said, I have no problem with comedians posting fun at politics as long as he's on both sides now with that being said i have not seen the entire special what i did see was him insinuating that someone should have tried to assassinate trump that's not cool i will say to the last commenter chris he did go after both sides and had just as many biden jokes as he did trump jokes in fact honestly i'd say the biden ones were even funnier than the trump ones biden <laughs> no thanks <laughs> <laughs> now you can play biden you'd be a good you biden. Could be biden you'd be an amazing I? biden yeah his biopic <laughs> what are we going to do about Ukraine, Mr. President? Well, you got you to gotta understand. <laughs> well, well, part of the reason I've never been on a, on a uh, you know, growing up in Connecticut, what a, what a, what a, what a, what a uh, black smell funny. <laughs> <laughs> that does it for this video thank you so much for watching please let me know in the comments what you think of andrew santino cheeseburger and if you haven't watched it yet you can find it right now on netflix other than that be sure to subscribe to joke world right now and turn on the post notifications because we're coming out with chris stefano try not to laugh at some point soon maybe at the end of this week even so you gotta have the post notifications on so you don't miss that that'd be very embarrassing if you miss that almost as embarrassing as big cat not knowing that there is someone reporting on the comedy news a whole channel dedicated to it joke world so reminder to go hit up Big Cat on Twitter and Instagram, really bother him. Just share him the, the blessings of being a Joke World subscriber. Say things like, oh, my life has never been better since subscribing to Joke World. Oh, my penis has never been larger since I started following Joke World. Oh, if you don't follow Joke World, bad things might start happening to your family that you can't explain. Maybe ransom notes start showing up. Oh, the Bears will never win a game until you follow Joke World. Justin Fields might break his leg if you don't follow Joke World. Stuff like that that would really bother Big Cat. If you don't listen to part of my take, none of this makes any sense. But I do. I'm a big fan of theirs. That's why when I saw him say that, I was like, what the fuck, dude? It's us. We're, we do that. We follow all, all the comedians, report on all of it, the ins, the outs of the comedy game. Joke World Comedy News coming Monday. Other than that, thank you again for watching.